Hi, I'm Bob Birch with the eExtension Network Literacy Community of Practice, and this is just a quick video to show you how to find people to follow on Twitter uh, using other people's follows and followers. I know that's a lot of follows, but maybe you'll get a better idea if I just show you here. So let's jump into Twitter, and I'm seeing, uh, I'm logged in, and I'm seeing my Twitter feed here, and here are the people who I follow. But if I'm trying to expand my network, I might pick one of these people that I value in terms of the information and the content that they provide on Twitter, and try and expand my network by checking out who that person follows and what other Twitter users follow that person. So let's scroll through here and find somebody to search for. So here's Harold Jarkey, someone whose uh, content I really do value. And when I click on Harold's name, you'll see his profile summary uh, pops up for me. He's got 889 people that he is following and about 10 times that many that follow him. So I might start by saying, you know, Harold's really interesting. I like his work. I wonder who he has as part of his personal learning network, his Twitter network. And so I can click his following here, and then I can see who Harold is following. So here are all the people that he is following. And if I find somebody on here who looks like they're uh, possibly uh, interesting and that I might want to follow, I can either follow them directly from here based on their, their username and profile, their bio here, or I could click on that person and look at some of their tweets and see if they are uh, tweeting the kinds of things that I am interested in and then follow them from there. So now let's go back and take a look at how we might look at uh, following uh, people from uh, someone's followers list. So here's Dr. Barb O'Neill and if uh, I value the content that she provides and you can see she's got 75 people following her. I showed you how to click that and and look at those but we also might want to take a look at who's following Barb. So if I click on her 755 followers here I will get a list of all the people who are following uh, Barb. And so I can take a look again at these people, see if uh, based on their username and bio, if there's someone that I want to follow directly from here, or if not, I can uh, click on them to get a little bit more information and actually view all their tweets before uh, making a decision on whether or not to follow them. So you can do this in Hootsuite as well, but you really end up using Twitter.com. In Hootsuite, when you see uh, somebody and you want to check out their followers uh, and their following list, you can click on their name and you'll see their profile pops up here, but I can't actually click on the following list or the followers list. In order to do that, I have to actually go to their Twitter profile. When I click that, that's going to open up their Twitter profile and then I can click the following list and go from there and choose if I want to follow anyone else. This is a great strategy for building your personal learning network. If you have someone that you value, that you follow on Twitter, check out who they're following and who else is following them, and you can really expand your network. Thanks.